What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, I am whooped. I have been busting a hump here. I think, I think I got everything done that um, my friend Allie wanted me to get done here on her house, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I am exhausted. Um, I just got to clean up and load up. I don't think I'm going to drive home tonight because I am a little exhausted. But, um, man, my brain is just in a fog. So while I was working in between, you know, I always like to keep up with the news that's going on. My hair's a mess. That's going on with the Cowboys and things and keep you guys going. I think of myself as kind of like a information digester. And something that was interesting, I saw today uh, a tweet. I think it was from Bob Sturm, who tweeted out there and said that as a media person, he hasn't been to a single practice. But with the technology that's out there, you don't really need to be to practice because everything is sent around. And that's where you think, you know, when you hear Adam Schefter, Adam Schefter is not in 32 NFL organizations simultaneously getting information. He's relying on others to relay it. There's only a few people that are actually there. They put it out, you know, between the AP, the ESPN and all that. And everybody spreads it, which is why sometimes misinformation can get spread real quick. So I saw blogging the boys. They did an article that was talking about the boys at pro football focus. Now, we have been fed that the Dallas Cowboys stink, that they're terrible, that, you know, the Washington Commanders might end up, you know, getting second place or possibly winning the division that the Cowboys could be third. You know, we're told that, um, you know, the Cowboys don't care about winning, that we've lost so many valuable starters, you know, losing Tyron Smith and Biotish, um, Dorrance Armstrong and uh, Dante Fowler. You know, and some of the other players and that we just don't care, you know, that we got no chance. But then again, here's what happens is you start looking around and you see Vegas says, well, the Cowboys, are, they're favoring Cowboys in 14 of their games. Take that as well. What they're hoping to have is people betting equally on both sides of the equation. So that's a little bit skewed. But then you have some people saying that Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in the NFC currently. That's up for debate, but he's definitely one of the top ones. You look at Micah Parsons, who just turned 25 a couple of days ago. One of the best um, defensive players that's been out there. You look at the Cowboys having Deron Bland, who had more pick six interceptions than anybody in the history of the NFL, with the digs coming back. So you look at this and say, there are a few players there, and CeeDee Lamb, who you know led the NFL in yardage. So you look and you say, they do have a few pieces. So Pro Football Focus put out their roster evaluation ratings. And here's what's funny, because you expect the way they've talked about the Cowboys, and they say they got no chance of doing anything, this, that, and the other. Lo and behold, they put the Cowboys roster at nine. When you listen to the Talking Heads, you think that they're somewhere in the upper 20s because they let go all this talent. So let me read what they have for them, and then I'll go to the list of who's ahead of them. Biggest strength, their pass rush. A pass rush led by Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence is likely among the best in the league, which was the case of 23 for a second consecutive season. Dallas strikes second in the NFL in pass rush grade. Parsons, Lawrence, as and other contributors such as Osa and Digazua, Sam Williams made defense one of the league's most feared units. Now, we did lose, of course, Dorrance Armstrong as well as um, Dante Fowler. That did hurt. Um, biggest weakness, no surprise. Uh, the Cowboys' primary weakness over the last couple of years has been their run defense. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Though they ranked seventh in run defense grade last season, that rank is highly weighted by uh, standout performances against teams like the Jets and the Chargers. Uh, when tasked with stopping better rushing offenses like the 49ers Eagles, they tend to come short. So thank you very much. 
The X factor for the Cowboys they have is Mozzie Smith. Mozzie was selected in the first round of the 23 draft and improved the team's run defense. He struggled. <laughs> he struggled to find his footing in his rookie year, posting a meager 31.8 run uh, defense grade. Um, Dallas lost multiple pieces in his front seven, which puts greater onus on Smith. So, rookies to watch, Tyler Guyton, over and under 10.5. They're going to take the under. Okay. That seems like it's better than what you've been told by the talking heads. Now, of course, let's go through the top of the list. Let's just read down where the rankings start. The number one roster, the San Francisco 49ers. The number two, Kansas City. No big surprise there. Number three, they have the Eagles. Okay, biggest strength, offensive line. Biggest weakness, coverage. X Factor, Cam Jordan, and so on. Okay. They have the Jets next. I think that's all dependent on Aaron Rodgers, who looked kind of lame yesterday in practice, but will be that as it may. The Ravens. Then the Lions. Okay. The Texans. And then the Bengals. So if you're keeping track, they have San Francisco, Philadelphia, who we seem to own, the Lions, and then the Cowboys. So roster-wise, as currently constructed, they have us as the fourth best in the, in the conference. That ain't that bad. That's actually better than what I would have thought. Because they're sitting here talking about the commanders might be better. And so, teams behind it, they have the Buffalo Bills, followed by the Miami Dolphins, the Cleveland Browns, the Green Bay Packers, the Rams, the Atlanta Falcons, Pittsburgh Steelers, Seattle Seahawks, Tampa Bay, Jacksonville, and the Bears. So you're telling me that the Dallas Cowboys have the ninth best roster. And somehow <coughs> the Commanders are a better team? Okay. 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 Um, of course... Here's the other side of the the equation, and you're seeing the pivot right now. If you're saying that there's three teams that are better than the Cowboys in the NFC, then how is it that you look at the Cowboys and say that they're a Super Bowl contender? I'm just asking. If you're saying that there's three teams that have better rosters and are better coached, then how is it a disappointment if they don't go to the Super Bowl? I'm asking for a friend. All right, good people. I'm going to go over here and get cleaned up here, uh, get all my stuff cleaned up and out. And um, as always, I appreciate you guys. And um, I will see y'all later. Peace.